wearing sandals. Uh, you can see it, it's like a white out condition snow. All right, so Mike's got a really big head. So this is the piece of pizza in comparison to Mike's head. All right, made it to Asheville. It wasn't a bad ride. Hit a little bit of traffic on the way. Counted one accident, some big old semi. Dumped everything all over the road. So we had about a 10 minute back up there. Wasn't too bad. The ride wasn't bad, pretty hilly, but it was, uh, wasn't bad towing. Just waiting on Kim to get some groceries and then we're gonna head to uh, our KOA that we're staying at for the next three nights. And then whatever Kim has planned for us because I'm not the planner, she's the planner. If anyone knows us, she plans all the things. I go and enjoy. <laughs> so much to see and explore in the town of Asheville. Take a drive on the beautiful Blue Ridge Parkway. Enjoy endless hiking trails and many outdoor activities. Asheville is also known as the brewery capital of the United States with over 30 breweries in the town alone and so many more in surrounding towns. Asheville is also home to endless restaurants and in fact was rated number one foodie town on Yelp for 2022. Be sure to try some down-home southern eats while you're here. The music scene is also huge here from bluegrass to rock and everything in between. And you're sure to see some happy tails wagging, as Asheville is extremely dog friendly and even has a dog welcome center. few recommendations we decided to check out Dynamite Roasting Company in nearby Black Mountain. The coffee in the atmosphere did not disappoint. We rate this one a 10 out of 10. So we didn't have too many plans today so we decided to drive the Blue Ridge Parkway. However, a good part of it around here is close. Uh, whether for construction or I'm not sure. But we talked to the ranger at the Welcome Center. Take a right, go south. And just drive south to US 276. Okay. Um, lots of nice overlooks there. There's uh, overlook on the French Broad River, Mills River, a whole bunch of things around Mount, Mount Pisgah. And he said to go south, there's some good overlooks, and uh, then we can get off and take one of the highways back into Asheville. So that's the plan. We've encountered rain, sun, and now snow. I don't know if you can see it. But it's snowing here up in the higher elevations. We're at 3,350 feet. on the Blue, Blue Ridge Parkway uh, and it's currently snowing here and I'm wearing flip-flops so here's to being well prepared. It's a little cold, I think it's time to hit up a brewery. Hey, how's 
got. Good. We're closing up the parkway on this stretch okay. here. So if you want to head down towards Asheville. Okay. All right. Do I, I can get off on 151 though? Yes. Okay. Yep. Thank you. Sure. You're closing because of the snow? Yeah, it's snow and ice coming in. So. Cool. All right. Thanks. Yep. Got kicked off the Blue Ridge Parkway because of snow and ice. So coming in for a beer. <laughs> top of Kasuma Peak. It's a little under 3,200 feet above sea level. I'd like to say that I pedaled all the way up here, but I definitely didn't. It was way too steep. There's two trails that take you to the top of this peak. It was one, it was like seven and a half miles. It was a little more flat. This one was like a mile and a half. I took myself to the wrong trail. So a mile and a half straight up this side of this peak. I'm not that fit, but it was nice up here. One of the hikes we chose to do here in Asheville was the Catawba Falls Trail, found in the Pisgah National Forest. This trail is 1.2 miles each way or just under 2.5 miles round trip. The trail is easy to moderate. It does have a gentle incline, and as you get closer to the waterfall, you will have to climb over some boulders. This trail is very popular, so be sure to arrive early to avoid crowds. The reward of arriving at the waterfall at the end is everything. we had to visit many breweries while we were here. Trying to pick out which ones to visit was a feat in itself being that there are so many to choose from. We had great experiences everywhere we went. If you're a craft beer drinker, you won't want to miss a trip to Asheville. There's breweries everywhere down here. Asheville has over 100 breweries in the area. We are like in heaven down here. We found this pizza place on a whim, and they had the biggest slices of pizza we've ever seen, so of course we had to try it. All right, so Mike's got a really big head. So this is the piece of pizza in comparison to Mike's head. Hold it up, Mike. <laughs> So you saw how big that piece of pizza was. Now imagine how big the pie is, and then how big the box has to be to fit the pizza in. We watched these guys carry out the giant box from inside. They tried to place it on the front seat with the woman sitting up front, but they couldn't fit it in there. So instead, we were all entertained on the sidelines watching these guys move their belongings in the back seat just to fit this giant box of pizza. Asheville is full of all kinds of surprises, from unique shops and restaurants to old-time general stores, and the coolest bookstore I've ever seen, even complete with a champagne bar. For some reason, Kim and I are looking around in the bookstore, 
think collectively we've read three books in the past 10 years. We really enjoyed Sweet and Creek Brewery. The beers were top notch, and best of all, they had an outdoor area, which was perfect for bringing the dogs. One of the most recognizable names of breweries here is New Belgium Brewery, most known for their fat tire amber ale. The brewery here was huge and the beers were solid. Hidden away in an alley, down some steps and underground was One World Brewing, which was another stop on our list. We give this one our stamp of approval. We love to check out live music in towns we visit, and we especially love bands like this. We even got a free dance show. Oh hey! <laughs> ended up booking a extra night here at Asheville because we feel like we barely scratched the surface with things around here and even with the extra night there's so much to do so much hiking to do um, we got all outdoors a little bit yesterday I did the Blue Ridge Parkway again yesterday because it was a little bit nicer um, the weather was much nicer for sure no snow for sure uh, blue it was blue skies, it was, it was, it was beautiful. Doing my final walkthrough, this is our last stop before we head back to New Jersey. Our month-long trip is over. Uh, we'll be back in Jersey for hopefully a few, sh few short weeks and then we're headed out west. So if you like this video please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Bye.